welcome back to the captain's draft minor 4.0 we have our cis qualifiers here team spirit against gambit esports game one fight i'm shane Ahmad and i'm joined by brax what's the story do hi shane hello sir all right so I, in the lobby i convinced the teams that the new heroes are fair and balanced and they should not ban them Honestly, it sounds good. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna listen to me. I don't see why not. Honestly, the, so, the headshot character uh, character is not not very good in my opinion. But what kind of role would you say he is? It's weird, right? Because he you want to play him as a core because his Q benefits from attack damage, but his ulti doesn't. Then he doesn't really like he has a kind of slow that has a chance to proc, but that's all the lockdown he has. So he he might find it difficult to like DPS people. You know, as a melee hero, you want an, a, a way to stop people like a bash or a stun, like most heroes do. But he doesn't, and they ban him. They didn't listen. FMG, lion piece. Of oh, shit. oh, I accidentally left the game. <laughs> Did you? Really? Apparently, if you press Enter, it leaves the game. Did you know that? Oh, well, now I do because that just happened to me. Yeah, you can't press enter. I thought I'd get the chat up so I could show the evidence, but apparently not. It just made my game crash when I press enter. Don't don't press enter, kids. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you back in? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm back. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm working on being back. Just looking at the hero pool. Um, There's a few heroes that come to mind. Like, generally, you want to look for the heroes that... You know, need to be hero countered or, or or difficult to counter. So Necrofoss was definitely one on Terrorblade. It was another one that are in the pool. You have some Phoenix lying around on PL. Well, they're they're banning them out pretty quickly though. Techies, man! I can't wait to see some techies. Hopefully, we have a techies player. Ban our ninjas. No, that's what that's what everyone says until techies is actually in the game. Then he's not enjoyable to watch. I I don't like. Playing with or against him, but I do like watching him be played. If that makes sense, like I, I cannot stand Techies being on my team or playing against him. Because if he's on your team, you have to play as four, and it, it's impossible. But it, the game just drags on and on and on. If he's against you, you end up just dying to mines like three or four times a game. Yeah, it gets miserable real quick. You can't go high ground the the mine the mines with the 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 signpost. You know, they stop you going anywhere. It's tough. Yeah. Oh, it's a razor first pick. That's toss. an odd one. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand that. It, Generally, it's something you probably only see in captain's draft. Um. Okay. So the strength of razor. You know, he's a strong laner. He's a good uh, anti carry hero. You know, because he drains damage. Radiant. But it's it's an odd first pick. There, there's the spirit breaker we were talking about. I know FNG is a, a fan of that hero, so no surprise that they pick it up first. Wait, did you look at the changes from razor? No. Did they change him? Yeah, he lost five move speed. Really? Yeah. That's it. But they gave his no, no. <laughs> they gave his uh, E passive move speed, so he eventually gets like a lot more. And then it says every five seconds, a random enemy within three fifty AOE will be shocked, taking a hundred, one thirty, one sixty, one ninety damage and getting purged. Forty percent slow for uh, it's half a second at level one. It goes up by half a second each level. So uh, even at the start of the game, he just like starts shocking people that are near him. Yeah, 100 damage. That's ridiculous. That seems really strong. And uh, you remember before how he used to have that static link talent? Now he gets it at 15, and it's plus 7 instead of 14, so it's half, but it's uh, 10 way, levels way earlier. earlier. Yeah, I like it. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Razor, interesting to see how he plays. It sounds OP. Okay, some instant stun. They really needed that, a way to stop either Spirit Breaker or Puck. Is Monkey King enough? Probably not. They need more. Like Puck is already difficult to deal with if they don't have. Well, okay, let's look at let's look at stones here. Well, what do we have for him to pick? Gambit Esports. The gyrocopter, of course. He's got the homing missile. CM. Big ass stun. Is it CM for Gambit? Some root. No, CM doesn't really do that much to Puck. So you can't phase shift, right? Uh, I, yeah, but usually Puck, uh, you can't just like walk up and face shift the Puck. What else you got, Kunkka? Uh, dude, there's nothing, man. Yeah. It's looking bad. Five seconds, I guess there's like Faceless Void for Chronosphere. Mm, 
it's a risky one. It's yeah, Puck usually builds risky. blink and they did change the chronosphere quite a lot. There's a can, oh, did they? Yeah, they changed his talents. Like he can have a bigger chronosphere, and he has cast range on chronosphere as well. So they change it quite a lot. Yeah, I think Gambit are now on dying. Okay, so instead of kind of worrying about Puck and worrying about you know fighting them later into the game, they're just gonna destroy their lanes. I guess is their plan, and then just snowball really hard based off that. It looks like it, and it is a tricor from Team Spirit Gyro Puck DP. Oh, I'm assuming that the Gyro is the core. Void comes out. Nice, nice. Looks like a, a pretty good last pick. There's some good synergy with all the heroes. There's like the Wukong's Command Garbage, yep. Static Link, Razor Spells, Tombstone. What's Even this? Oracle does quite a lot of damage in the in the chronosphere. Yeah, very true. Crystal Maiden comes out. All right, so yeah, it's a core gyro. You know, when you have lineups like these, where you have like the tricore with the puck off lane, yeah. If the if your puck doesn't get off to a good start, there's really nobody that can like rotate to make moves. You know, it becomes so dependent on having a good lane phase that if it just doesn't happen, you can crumble pretty quickly. But I mean, it looks like they'll have a pretty decent lane phase this game, unless the undying goes absolutely ham. Spear breaker is pretty strong. I guess they I they want to contest, right? So they're probably gonna send like Kuman and Big Num. On the undying and void to the offensive lane, and they're gonna actually try and well, pressure the safe lane a bit. I think Cheshire Cat, the, the Monkey King, he's he, he was an off lane player. I don't know if he still is. Maybe it's uh, an off lane monkey, but you're right. They can they, they can lane pressure. however they e want. Either right? way, right? They descend undying plus one. Yeah, and they can be like undying and you know void, and they'll probably be fine. They can do anything. All right, we're going in. This thing lost its appeal after two days. I was it, it was <laughs> great for two days, and then I was just I I was just sick of it. The, it's the anime battle load screen. Yep. All right. Overlays, overlays. Overlay. Oh, that was a good one. That was really fast. Thank you. I'm on top of it this time. Yeah, that was good stuff. All right. Let's start. set it off. So it looks like for Gambit, we have the Razor heading towards the mid lane. Off lane is Big Num and Cheshire Cat, as you said. Kuman on his void with always want to fly on the Oracle. And then Iceberg taking up his patented mid laner. To playing Death Prophet. Uh, pretty strong hero in general. Um, the ch 50 damage? What happened? 50 damage at level 10? What? Exorcism grants haste? What? 500 health at level 20? 500? Somebody call up the frog. This oh is not okay. my god. 30 seconds what to the battle. hell? Okay. Yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. 50 damage at level 10. Like, that's that's usually given to supports to make up for them. You know, and like, Potom gets 50 damage at level 20. Their profit gets at a 10. I don't know. She probably doesn't get it at a 20 anymore. They'll probably change that too. But... Okay. Looking at what would see what did CM get changed? She got a few changes too, right? Well, I don't know. I'll look it up right now. Uh, yeah, the cast range. Oh, the talents are different. Mm -hmm. Charge. Oh, FNG charges into uh, uh, just just to apply the orb of venom, really. Bit of guff. It's the guff charge. Uh, that's about it, right? He's receiving the old beatdown from Undying. Does not want to fight that man. Okay. This I, I like the lanes for Team Spirit. I, I was I was a little worried. You know, the Undying Monkey is a, is a difficult lane, but this this does what you asked, right? It gives DK four buffs on his off lane puck. A very very good start. One v one versus Void. Very true. Did you got ten tangos and the? Did you notice that? Yeah, the the tangos giving five now instead of three. Instead of yeah, I, I noticed. It looks so weird, doesn't it? Does it does look really weird. Ten tangos. Ten tangos. Jesus, that's a lot of tangos. Uh, Phobos is not afraid. It's trading hits with him and dying. All around. Good stuff. Checking out the bottom lane here. How, how, how do you think this undying Monkey King lane goes for him? Is it? I think they don't... Uh, it's not like a kill lane, right? But it's an annoying lane where they can't mess with this undying too much. You know, Crystal Maiden is actually really, really bad at level 1. Nope. She can and cast she... Her, spell, her frostbite once, then she has to wait a bit on mana. Unless she has some yeah. stats. 
it's not great, and then of course, uh, frostbiting one big creep isn't going to give you level 2, that's been changed a long time ago, but, I don't know, it, it's just weird to see that, uh, you know, they picked this hero last, and it's not like it's a bad hero, but I don't feel like it was the right hero, but of course, this is Captain's Wrath, you're not always going to get the right hero. I think uh, people need to, as you said in the last game, like, focus on, on getting the strong supports, the instant stuns. Oh. Uh, Gambit maybe caught out here. Cheshire Cat on the monkey is trying to. He nearly brings down. Uh, Gyro oh, Big Num's going deep for this man. Just doesn't get it. Big Num oh, tried it, but the cooldown on Decay was there, so he was unable to do it. It's actually so close. That was really close. There's one yeah. hit off. He has to go home now. The long walk home. This will come in handy. I don't know. This is probably easily worth for nearly. You know, you do lose first blood, but the amount of time Gyro is losing right here. You know, this is like yeah, this is this is a win, right? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, it is a, all the way back. To it base is a win. No yeah. boots. It's like a minute and a half, maybe even longer. He has to use his TP. That's ridiculous, actually. Right, it's definitely not that bad for Gambit. It's like, sure, it sucks that they got first blood, but you trade, you make them use their regen, you make them use their spells, and then, you know, they're not gonna want to sit down here with three heroes the entire time. Now they're gonna go run off and do their own thing. Now Spirit Breaker charging into mid, but Difficult yep, nothing kill. gonna happen. Okay, so, so all in all, the the pace of the game seems quite tame. The bottom lane is definitely a bit of action, but the rest of the lanes are they're just kind of trading. There's no real kill potential on any lane unless someone makes a big mistake. So who do you think this this is the gives the advantage to? Like, say say 20 minutes comes around and it, it stays at this pace. I feel like it just depends on where Spirit Breaker can go to make moves. Like mid lane right now, he has a DD. If they can actually kill this Razor with a big bash. Oh, it looks like one more. Oh, all right. All right. Okay, so the, the the unstable current actually purged the the, the double damage off break with it, I think, or maybe it just ran out. I don't know. I just want to give the spell credit because it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> good effort, good effort. Top lane. Bubbles just applying pressure. Nothing much happening. They want to. FNG wants to keep up the pressure on Big Dom here. He's charging from the base. But it still feels like CM and Gyro, they don't really bring that much when it comes to uh, killing these heroes. It, it's difficult, right? They don't do a lot of damage at all. Right. Just level 1 Frostbite. Gyro needs to isolate the hero with the Rocket Barrage. And he's going to have a Tombstone down eventually. Not now, but a level, maybe one more level. And they're just going to have all these zombies absorbing all the damage. What's it? Charge down bottom. I was gonna say we don't see a lot of gyro copper anymore, but you know he has the flat cannon against two, which is pretty nice, I guess. Mm -hmm. Caught out. Manages to get the heal off, but it doesn't do enough. FNG gets the orb of venom. Last hip tuck. Well played, well played. They're looking for this ward, but it's in a, a, an odd position. Oh, they do get it. Yeah, cool. He kind of walked by it and then placed the the ward. That was odd. Maybe he just didn't spot it because of the the night time. Mid lane, trying to get a kill onto the Razor. Killing spree for FNG. Oh, very nice stuff here, Spear Perker making a bunch happen. And, you know, on the side of Gambit, it's not the same, right? Like, a die, he's good in the lane, he's good at harassing and these heroes, but... He, he falls off like a cliff. Yeah, he a, does. In about time. 10 minutes. And it's also like, he's not gonna walk mid lane and kill the hero. Right? Yeah. He doesn't ever have to be afraid of that. And then the other support is also Oracle, too. So, same thing, right? Iceberg can just play up on this Razor. They can keep punishing him over and over. It's just they, they don't have the a support here that can really make any moves. So, this lane phase becomes so important. Bottom lane. They get the Frostbite off. And that's it, right? They, they get a TP in from Oracle. Tombstone is used. So, that's a, a large defensive commitment from Gambit. For for essentially a hundred mana on the charge and a little bit of mana on the. Where is he charging? Oh, he's going. He's just kind of kind of passing by. <laughs> <laughs> he's just cruising. I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, is this a visual bug? That was great. Oh, CM getting spotted by the the courier. Uh, going later into this game, uh, let's see if I get to initiate a talk real quick with the bash. The taunt! Excellent! 
Excellent taunting. That's what I like to see. Beautiful, beautiful. And the Radiant Courier. Let's go down here. I think you could get turned around. They do have Chrono. Oh! The charge. Canceling the Chrono. Beautiful. Yeah, so what I was saying is, uh, as the game progresses, a lot of pressure is on Kuhnman on his, or Kuhnman, on his uh, Void to initiate, right? Like, yeah, who, who has it initiate? feels like it. I guess there's like a Monkey King scouting people out from trees and stunning, but it's not it's not great, right? It's, yeah. It is going to be that Void jumping in. FNG just, just passing by, by again? The <laughs> he's, he's just watching. Jesus. You know, maybe that's not plan. He's just gonna charge top uh, across the river again yeah, and make Razor freak out. Hmm. All right. He is literally just playing with them at this stage, FNG. You know, he's not trying to charge from fog or actually kill people. He's just applying pressure, making this oracle co contemplate what what, the, what to do. Right? He's like, oh, maybe I should TP here. You know, constantly watching the map. Very true down bottom two chest for a cat is chart. Oh boy, jar is six. Jar what he used. Nothing really happens again. Hey man, tombstone force, that's an 85 second cooldown. <laughs> Alright, tombstone forced. Big play from Team Spirit. <laughs> Forcing out that tombstone. They just got so many options now. Look at that. They're fighting oh, again. There's no the rocket's on him. I don't, the rocket. Ash. Oh, boy, oh, boy. In comes Spirit Breaker. He can't be too. Oh, he's miles away. Never mind. Carry on. He's actually miles away. The one time there's FNG. No there's no tombstone. Oh. What's he's happening here? Coming. CMS haste? It's better. Yeah. Okay, right. It's a very, very passive. Uh, Team Gamma. Unable to really make any moves. Like, Oracle's trying to rotate here. He's, he's tried to rotate mid twice. And both times he got spotted by the exact same ward. It's tough. Yeah. It's very, it is very tough. tough. You know, all these drafts feel like they're always, they're always missing something, right? Well, that, that's always... the Cotton's draft way, right? It is, but uh, it's just... You know, there's just so much more value on these heroes like Spear Break, in my opinion. Heroes that can make things happen in like any lane that also have good lead presence, right? Nice rotation, Kuma. Getting the kill onto the carry gyro. There's the tombstone. Tombstone used. Hook gets a big dream coil off. But I don't think you wanna you wanna blink in there. One from Def and G. Kuma is solving. He does have his leap away if needed as well. Cool. The heal from Cheshire Cat, it's doing a lot. Iceberg! He evaporated! In goes Phobos, gets the silence off, killing the, the razor. There's no shrine there, lads! Sorry to break it, Tears! Oh right. Where'd it go? <laughs> uh, no. Kuman is just dying, actually. He has Leap in one. Gyro cuts him off after the respawn. Messy, messy fight. Big Num is going for the TP, but the rocket. Ooh, it just misses! <laughs> That was so unfortunate. The heroes are right next to each other with the charge after uh, Oracle died, went to the, the Centaur Conqueror instead of the TP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't see that actually. So FNG like went oh. down to the Centaur? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. He just made a U turn. Oh, poor lad. It was really funny. Oh, these fights are m messy. Yeah, big time, and when they're, I, they're messy like this, it's it's hard to see good favors, but I guess one team, they've got the point click stun, they got Spear Breaker. They also have Puck, right? The, uh, hero that doesn't mind a bit of chaos. Oh, yeah, he likes the battle. Yeah, he likes getting in and getting out. I, as as Captain's draft progresses, I think teams are going to become better and better at drafting in it. I think it's, it's quite noticeable now. Oh, going on mid lane. Razor. Do tombstone. The Oracle's in there. He's not quite level 6. But it's, the heal is just enough. The tombstone's enough of a deterrent. Beaver on his CM is getting chased for three lads. Oh, they turn around with the call down. And the, the quick swarm is doing a lot of damage. The rocket barrage tearing apart Big Num on his undying. Just leave it there. Alright. And then my dog wants to go take a piss. Jack, one second. Thanks. <laughs> oh, we we're back. So lucky. <laughs> Oh my god, the timing is just so good. Oh.
All right, guys. I apologize. The game's a little clowny from from not only us, but all right. the teams. That was very convenient. Uh, was <laughs> I always want to fly. What a bro. Yeah, nice guy. Oh man, the, the games just look so clowny, don't they? Yeah, like they really, really do. They're they're just like nonstop fighting. It's just. It's total chaos. You really don't know what's going to happen. The game was only 3 and 0 at like a few minutes ago, and now there's a million kills. 10 to 3. Yeah, and you don't really know what's going to happen. I think a, a decent sign. Like you, you said, DK Phobos on his podcast would do well. He's top of the network. He is styling on Gambit. And they, he looks like a, a mid lane puck. He really does. They don't really have an answer for him either, do they? Can he can get the dream? No, the dream call is applied. He goes for the ambitious TP. Very ambitious TP. Oh, check out that, the glyph. Glyphs that creeps up, delays the bottom tower push as well. Value. Oh, that's nice. And the dire answer with their own glyph. The push. Oh, man. Man, the glyph mind games are definitely, they've leveled up. Do the, does the glyph still reset when the, a tier 1 dies? Yeah, it yeah. does, right? Yep. Well, that's awesome. It's nearly 100% value just using it in that case to push, right? Yeah. You know, I was talking about Razor's unstable current change as he gets charged up pretty early. He's looking. There's a lot of heroes. Oh boy, he's not in good place. He's getting siphoned, and the, the ghosts are out from Iceberg. Chronosphere is applied only onto CM. Not ideal. Tombstone on the high ground in a nice position. But I guess that's about it, really. As we were talking about, team fights pretty messy, difficult to really, uh, to really catch anyone. Like, uh, everyone's just kind of walking, walking around. Like Kumar thing. walked over to Death Prophet and was like, "What's up?" Uh, Phobos blinks in, going for a kill, and always want to fly. But oh, right, here he is. Here's the man. He he gets stuff done. Oh, it's, well, apart from that, Spirit Breaker coming in has the charge onto the Monkey King. Dream Call narrowly misses. Uh, Monkey King is stunned onto the ground. Bash is applied. This dream, this call down, very big, but not an. Bobos has the time dilation, so he can't actually phase shift. Okay. All right, it's it's getting pretty crazy. Bit of an overextension from uh, Team Spirit, getting like behind the tier two tower while the the Death Prophet ulti was down. Gyrocopter couldn't really get into position. It's like, uh, it's one of those things, right, the charge went onto the, or like it spread after the initial unit died to the monkey hing on top yeah. of the trees, and then, you know, once the coils missed, it's, that's it, right? They should have, they should have just gone, gone back, yeah. yeah. How's, uh, football's doing? Yeah, the blink finished. He, he had Solring queued up, but realizing, you know, the speed of his blink is really important. Can they catch out? There's a shrine there, lads. There's a shrine there, guys. Be careful. Um, stuff like that, you 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 forget. Right? You actually 100% yeah. do not remember. Would, at that uh, the team fight at the at the secret shop yeah. on Dire, right? Oh my god, that was hilarious! I totally forgot about this try not being there. And you can imagine it's in their head too. Like, don't go high ground, try. You know, like. Yeah. FNG finding the Cheshire Cat on his Monkey King. What's the the item progression looking like in the game here? Like, let's let's have a look. Mask of Madness on the void. Uh, apart from that, not much else. 40 minutes into the game for Gambit. And on uh, Team Spirit, Blink on DK Phobos, core item. Then another core item is the Yules on the Death Prophet. Gyrocopter has a Yasha. Like there, there's a, a good few big items coming out for Team Spirit, whereas the other way, a lot more kind of utility items, you know, like urns, phase boots, raindrops. A lot less, you know. Yeah, there's, there's a lot less items coming out from Gambit for sure, and you know they're in this weird kind of position where they don't have a hero that starts fights for a while outside of Void, right? But Void doesn't push waves quickly at all, so he can't like. Uh, it's hard for him to play up on the map to actually get into a position where he can use Chronosphere. Yep. I think Jack's done peeing, by the way. Oh yeah, I got. Well, he let himself in. Okay. He can sometimes do it. Bottom lane there. Gambit are, are really trying to force it, but Beaver's onto them. He is definitely onto them. Is, is it Beaver or Biver? Biver? I don't know. I like the name Beaver. Me too. 
had a, a dream link they called him and asked him how to pronounce his name and he said it's whatever it doesn't matter there we go it's whatever come on mid lane does not manage to get the lift off they have the control they might have the damage though he's quite he's quite beefy and he has 10 stick charges he went for the turnaround yeah is gyro doing enough damage okay that's a, that's a worth in my opinion. Chrono down with their big team fight initiation. Gone. Puck does die, but you know that opens up the, the push. What's their answer? Look at top lane. Pushing in. Catapult up there. Already doing unhealable damage. Oh boy. Big old catapult. They haven't killed it yet. It's gone. My god, tons of damage that tower. I'm pretty big. For for nothing, right? It's like free damage. Yeah, and it's only 16 minutes in the game, right? They're just gonna keep pressuring that lane slowly and creeps a little chip away at the tower. I think uh, Gambit, they're, they're probably looking for a way to, to make things happen, right? I, I've seen a lot of offlane Monkey King lately, uh, even before this patch, and most of the time it's like a, it's a split push. Right? I'll charge on the always wanna fly, he Silence looks... Alive. It's okay, uh, I'll oh, Tombstone, tombstone. Forest. Yeah. You can really see the the problem with having so many large cooldowns, right? You know, they use Tombstone, it opens up a window, they use Chronosphere, it's another window. Yeah, very true. And when uh, Team Spirit have tools to force the push, like the Exorcism, it becomes a big problem because, you know, they just, every time a cooldown is used, they can march down a lane and take a free objective. Let's see what happens here, I think. A charging bottom, didn't find the Monkey King. Dream Pile is applied. Silence on top of that. Can they? Oh, he didn't attack, so he did get the tree jump. But well, that's about it, really. Nice nice play from FNG again. Constantly applying the pressure, catching out the solo heroes. Now, this leaves Iceberg on his Toblerone in the top lane here. Oh, very nice charge. He charged him real well there. <laughs> didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Q press, you, no, you, as, as basic no, as that is, it's, you, it's you, so good. It is good, right? You, you, the angle you charge at and actually doing it is something a lot of people don't do in uh, in Dota. Pressing their buttons. That's right. Look at this. Press he presses buttons. it on the right hero. Big Num might even get his ulti off. Oh, doesn't Chrono oh, hits on go. Death Prophet ulti? Is De de destroying everyone. Dark might be in a bit of trouble here. We do have the Yule Scepter available after the Soul Sultans. CM ulti behind. Phobos pushes forward, gets a double kill. Oh, uh, and Oracle triple kill for Deep Skip Phobos. It's all down to that charge press. It was. It stunned the uh, Razor on the way in too. It was the value charge. What do you, what do you think about the this game in general now, Brax, after after watching that team play. Like, they got a good Chronosphere. It was pretty decent, right? It was. They killed the Gyro from full health, pretty much. He had the, uh, the Wukong's command out, too. It looked not that bad, but it's just, like, uh, their fights are so, so awkward. It's more of that uh, kind of chasing heroes around, hoping for, like, a bash, or waiting for Oracle's route to go off after, like, the initial Chronosphere. It's just, it, the basic tools to, like, team fight are not there. It feels like, right? You have this undying Oracle support duo who they don't really do a whole lot on their own. Oracle obviously keeps a hero alive, but undying, I feel like outside lane phase, he doesn't feel that impactful anymore. That's like his, it, it's a it's a bad sign when your hero's peak is in the lane phase. When it's 10, 15 minutes in the game and it's like, li it, he actually just falls flat on his face. You know what I mean? It's, yep. it's not even a, a decline. Like it's not a steady decline. It's, 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 a, it's a drop. And his big team fight spell, Tombstone, is kind of countered by the Flat Cannon, too. It, not in that fight, obviously, because Jaro just ended up dying, but there is the potential to clear all the zombies pretty quickly. I like how FNG's playing this here. Just really ag aggressive, forcing the rotations. Oh, and he's in. Iceberg gets the siphon off onto Big Mom on his undying. They managed to. Uh... Oh, God, big dream call. And the silence hits on two of them. They're going to evaporate. They still have the. Exorcism, the push as well. The creep wave is very forward. What's their answer? Chronosphere is up in one. But even if they chrono, what, what damage do they have? What? Yeah. Yeah. Static link. 
Yeah, static link. He can take someone on a walk, build up the Eye of the Storm armor reduction charges, I guess. Yeah. But okay. uh, they just might die to the ghosts. Almost. Just creating a bit of ag aggression. Not allowing Gamba to kind of form their plan. Okay, the initiative gets the crosshair off on Tomb Heroes. Going for CM. CM is down. Tombstone placed. It's starting to build up the zombies. And it's looking good for Gamba. They get the stone off on Iceberg. He's healing a lot, but he's very isolated. On the back lines, FNG is kind of sauntering home. He's buying a TP. He's yeah, he's out. Okay, you saw the potential there, right? The Chronosphere, they get the Tombstone off on everyone. It looks not bad. They do get a Range Rax on a Tier 3 Tower. So, could be better, but there is definitely potential in the team fights, right? Yeah, they're showing some signs of life there. They're able to kill something. They do lose uh, some buildings at the cost of it, though. But this is like another window, right? No Chronosphere for 80 seconds, even though they don't have Exorcism or even Death yeah, Prophet alive right now. Yeah, or something, right? Yeah, there's no medallion picked up either, which makes this pretty slow, so I don't... I imagine the red rope just looks for him. He silenced, he silenced himself! Oh, the mask. The mask of madness! There's the spirit Oh, mask. boy! The timing on the mask of madness usage. Well, well spotted by FNG with that click. That's, yeah, that charge. That was another way. good charge. He gave him the old charge of darkness, and that was right. it. What Lights the hell, out the void. What does the super run do? It's the turbo earn. 3% per second of current health. Not bad. Where do you go? Alright. They're going for the push. Nice and easy here. The fuse of light finish the monkey king. He needs to do a little bit more damage with that now. Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this gyro had 550 moose speed. He's just gone. <laughs> the Tokyo drifted. Oh, the super earn! It's applied to him. Oh man, that gave him He's full health. Yeah, 67 HP regen. Like, not bad. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? How much does the item cost? I think like 2600. It's pretty expensive. Well, yeah, it, it is. Gives, it gives what? Health, movement speed, attributes, armor. It's the dream! Health, movement speed, armor, it mana gives regen? You everything you need. Yeah, what else do you want? Oh, he gets silent. Oh, he gets silence on the front lines. He might be able to get the cross for off. No, he gets a buff rate. Yeah, play back. He chooses to use it instantly, but Cheshire Cat, Oracle Loti on top of him. He has the Wukong's command down. Let's see what Kuman can do. Can he get a good Chronosphere off? Uh, oh, he gets silenced oh, again! again. Oh, oh boy. God, and that's GG. Game one, pretty convincingly, going to Team Spirit. Yeah, turns out the uh, Spirit Breaker is looking pretty strong. Spirit Breaker, number one. Hero so far in this kind of match. Just kind of gives vision, a bit of lockdown. Come he just gives you this basic ability to fight, yeah. right? And that seems like uh, a lot of these heroes lack. Undying Oracle. Like, it doesn't really scream control anything to me, but usually if it was all pick, you know, you can maybe pick Undying or Oracle, and then your cores, you'd have like an Ember Spirit or someone who had lockdown. Right, you can compensate for the, lock, uh, the lack of it somewhere, but with this limited pool, we're seeing all sorts of wonky heroes being picked, Razor being first picked, perhaps not working out the way they expected it to or would have liked, but uh, interesting game. Okay, we'll be back soon with uh, game two of Team Spirit versus Gambit.